Hi Wild Cards, welcome back to the channel guys. This is our weekly message from your person. Y'all know it's not an in-depth tarot reading, but I will pull oracle cards to help us give an understanding of what the person is focused in on for the message and you and your connection. Hopefully it'll give you confirmation of who it is. This week we're using Oracle of Visions and Tarot of the Heart, one of Susan Dawn's decks. Let's jump in guys. Let's see whose energy is the strongest for my wild cards and what they are focused in, focusing in on with your connection right now. Let's see my wild cards. Wild cards. Ooh. Let's go with it. Let's find out what's going on. Wild cards. Ooh, pop. Ow, we've got taking a break, getting away from stress. Yes. This card is literally, it tells you to get, get physical distance between you and situations or other people that bring stress. Hold the energy on the deck. Let's see what tarot of the heart. Ooh. What goes with this? Talk to us. Wild cards person. Ooh. I think we're getting two trying to fall out before I even get a good shuffle. We're going to see what they are. We've got a ten of cups. You're creating the relationship, family, and home life of your dreams in alignment with your heart's desires. Keep following your inner wisdom for long-lasting emotional abundance there's another one standing out here page of pentacles there's a new opportunity in love being brought forth with grounded and sincere communication be open to the potential of this new phase of your journey ow guys okay just with these that ten of cups uh this is going to be indication there's some kind of circumstances or other people's influences in the connection that's causing a lot of problems because uh, the person coming forward wants to focus on getting away from that, getting away from any stress factors. Uh, so, yeah, because they definitely we're at a standstill. It feels like a stuck energy with our page of pentacles. That's our babe in love. Where there's opportunity, but we're not clear on things, so we're not moving forward. It's a standstill, stalled energy in the connection. So this person is most definitely wanting to get rid of anything that is stalling our connection from moving up to higher levels. You know, moving forward into something that's going to simulate heaven on earth with us. Yes, because we're picking up the earth and the cups. The ten of cups is... Uh, success in every area of your life, but it incorporates a solid foundation of home and hearth, family, home, and hearth that brings you that success in every other area. So this person feels like something's stalling us from reaching that. Mm. Let's see what deck they want to start with. It's for my wild cards. Show me, show me. Okay, guys, I'm overlooking it. It's Big Mama Deck. We're talking with the Big Mama Deck. Let me get both sides up here. Let's start with this one. Wild cards for sin. Let's get it going. Talk to us. Talk to us. Whoa. Where's that? Right here. My life is so messed up right now. Mm. What else? Talk to us. Confirmation for someone. January. Capricorn and Aquarius energy. Mm -hmm. What else? Destiny. Destiny. Thinking about the future. Out into the, to the future. And what are we destined for? Another confirmation. March. Pisces and Aries energy. What else? Pop. You can have anyone you want. Why me? Why me? Ooh, this one's also. You complete me. Do I complete you? Ooh. What else? Misunderstandings drove us apart. Misunderstandings drove us apart. What else? The timing is not right. Wait. Wait. Self-conscious. 
feeling self-conscious right now. Oh, one more. I feel overwhelmed. I feel overwhelmed. You get control of this deck again, guys. Talk to us. It's time to get real. I'm tired of being played. Ooh. Tired of being played. Hmm. I don't feel like that's in your connection. I feel like it's whatever this card is representing the stress factor. The outside influence or circumstances. You know you could bring me so much misery. Who are we getting to here? I'm affected more than you know. You feed my soul in ways no one else can. Let's do a last shuffle on this side and then we'll move to the next one. Ooh, my ex won't leave me alone. Ow, that may be the stress factor. Hold the energy on that deck. Let's get them talking with this one and see what they were wanting to bring out of this one. Just for my wild cards, wild cards. Guys, when I shuffled, uh, we got one card facing the opposite way. It said yes. <laughs> That's confirmation for someone. That card said yes. Y'all know I've seen it, so i got to share it with you. I'm trying to trust that we will be together. We will be a family to each other. That Ten of Cups energy won't that Ten of Cups. There is no one else that knows me the way you do. You're everything I've ever wanted but could never have. Oh. I'm afraid of what others may say or think. Is there anything else? Bring it down. Yep, there he is. I want to tell you how I feel. I want to tell you how I feel. My passion is burning so strong that I can't take it. Mm -hmm. My desires. So, ooh, wait, one more. We've got confirmation for someone. November, Scorpio, and Sagittarius. So we've got January, Capricorn, Aquarius, March, Pisces, April, and then November, Scorpio, and Sagittarius. What else? What else? Ooh, that one. I love you. Mm. Okay, anything else? Let me get it. This deck keeps trying to get out of control with me, y'all. Mm, hang on. Pop. Stop talking about your past. <clears throat> and that uh, your, for someone, uh, switch it to the past. They, they want to stop talking about the past. What else? Things will change soon. I would be lost without you. Just a text from you is enough to put a smile on my face. Oh. Let's do a last shovel here. Is there anything else? Yep. The negative thoughts are only making things worse. Ooh. Hold the energy on the deck. Ooh, wild cards. Let's go ahead. Let's get your person to focus in on the deck. They would like to give you a final and closing message from. It's from our wild cards. Ooh, getting the light side of the rose deck. Take it. Yes, we will. Ooh, hold on. Hold on, guys. Hang on. I got chills going up my back. There's a deck behind me. They're trying to get my attention on. Ow. The little one. Let's put this one aside. Let's see what they were wanting to bring out with this one. Just evidently something they were needing to say to someone with this one. Bring it out for us. Bring it out. Pop. I want to see you so bad. You're on my mind the most. Your kindness has changed my life. I want you, but I shouldn't. Love will keep us together. 
Ooh, was there anything else with this deck? Was it? Yep, there's something else. I find you interesting. I think you are amazing. And I've been up all night thinking about you. Mm -hmm. Hold the energy on the deck. Now let's get them to close this off, guys. Wild cards person. Wild card. Talk to us. We'll talk. You bring me to my knees. I never thought I could feel this way for anyone. No one has ever believed in me the way that you do. You are the love of my life. You are what I can't live without. I can't get enough of you. I never know what to say to you. I'm so nervous around you. Around you. Around you. Ooh, when you're in face to face, your person gets nervous about talking, but they can talk easier through text or messages. When you are not face to face, uh, they don't seem to be so self conscious. Please be patient with me. Last shuffle. Anything else? Yes, there is. I would give anything if I could just hold you. I feel like you are so out of my reach. I can't wait to touch you, smell you, and just breathe you in. Ooh, last one, guys. You feed my soul in ways no one else can. Oh. Wild cards, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.